Welcome to Stuck in Vermont, brought to you by Seven Days and sponsored by New England Federal Credit Union. My name's Ava Solberger, and today we are going to Callis to spend the afternoon with a young dancer. We're going to follow him from his homestead in Callis to Montpelier, where he performs with Moving Light Dance Company. I really enjoy being with the animals. We've always had animals. I've always lived on a farm. So I've just grown up doing the chores. That's part of my life. I've been dancing for about nine years now. I just really enjoy it and I really enjoy performing. Yeah, they are different worlds. and There's a lot of farmers and dancers here in Vermont. Because we live in a rural area, it goes hand in hand, actually. <laughs> Ezra has played the Nutcracker Prince in the Green Mountain Nutcracker since he was 11 years old. He's also danced as Puck, Peter Pan, and Toto. So we find out what it takes for him to juggle his farm life with his dance life. We have pigs and we have chickens. We just got some young chicks about a week ago. And we have lots of sheep. We have five new lambs. Yeah, these sheep are like pets. I mean, there's this one right now asking to be pet. So I'm homeschooled and I always have been. And so that makes it much easier for being on the farm. I take three classes a week and for the shows we rehearse once a week usually, although more as we get closer to the show. I started when I was five. I took a summer camp, and I've been dancing with the same school ever since. And was such a mover from the very beginning. I always enjoyed moving my body, but I wasn't really into the whole competitive sports things. And so focused from five. Well, I get super focused, and I often won't notice stuff that's going on around me. Fully present in what he's doing, really into the discipline of ballet. People will tease me about how I look so serious, or I'm scowling, or I never smile, but I'm just focusing, and I'm not really going to be smiling when I'm working as hard as I can. He's an extremely hard worker. He puts every ounce of what he's got into his work. I feel like definitely working on a farm helps me with strength. Obviously carrying heavy things around, splitting wood has helped my shoulders a lot, and carrying the buckets is really helpful for upper body strength. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot better than going to the gym and working out. Ballet is extremely rigorous and difficult. You are working your muscles all the time in every exercise and every step that you are executing. Pretty much almost every muscle in your body. Well, I do like that it is such an old form of dance. I just enjoy it. There's so many different parts of ballet. There's jumping, turning. You can move really slow or fast. It's always set to the music. So as one of the few male dancers, I often have to take a lead role. We definitely don't have a lot of male ballet dancers, but we do have Ezra. I actually like it a lot because the teacher, I'd say most of them in classes and rehearsals give me as much attention as they give all the girls. So I can really progress a lot and I'm not sort of standing in the back hoping someone will notice me. I have to pay attention more because everybody's going to be looking at me. So I have to know what I'm doing. In the Nutcracker, I've had the lead for four years. I feel like it changes over the years, so I can always try and improve what I'm doing as well as the rest of the show. As he's grown older, he can play that role more maturely. So this spring, I'm the prince in Sleeping Beauty. It's pretty much the classical ballet version of Sleeping Beauty, and it's rather different than the fairy tale version. He's doing a lot of partnering. I'm a partner for a fairy, a cavalier. They just pulled me into all the partnering roles they needed. So I partner with Ezra, and I think that that's a huge part of us working together is trusting each other. It's a group effort, so two people work together. We've been in the same studio since we were pretty young. Our first one was the Nutcracker, and I've been doing the Nutcracker with him ever since. I've known Ezra for a while, like we've danced together for a really long time, so I know that I can trust him, and also just like letting go of feeling afraid. <laughs> trying to work with that. He 
he's just stuck with it. He's quite an accomplished dancer now. I'm not sure what I'm going to do in dance. I know I'll always be dancing, but I don't know what form that'll take. Ezra and Moving Light Dance Company's The Sleeping Beauty this weekend, June 2nd and 3rd at the Barry Opera House. And we will get stuck in Vermont for you again real soon. Follow us on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Instagram. Sign up for our weekly email alerts. Do you ever wonder how we find people to get stuck in Vermont? Well, we first met Ezra in December of last year when we were filming a video about the Green Mountain Nutcracker, and he said this. A few of us in the senior company actually have sheep. People that are sheep that have sheep performing. It's just fun. Do you have sheep? I do. So that's amazing. Is this part of your chores every day? Yeah. And I said to myself, oh yeah, we need to do another video with this guy.